Hey YouTubers, welcome to the Titan Extreme YouTube channel. Today I'm heading towards Wellington, North Carolina and the reason is I'm going in this backpacking trip to Raven Rock State Park. This is the second time this year I'm going to that park. I liked it that much. I'm gonna go with a, one of my uh, friends from, from, when I, from the time where I, when I was a kid. <clears throat> Let's see what's gonna happen. It's not used to these things, but I'm Nobody is, you just go and go with the flow, alright? So I hope we have a, we're gonna have a good time. The weather says that it's gonna be uh, kind of cool. You know, the temperature is gonna go around the 60 point low and around the mid 70s when high. And it's not gonna rain. But you know how weather is. They say something and all of a sudden the weather you know, is like changing and we can get rain or nothing. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey YouTubers, I'm back. I just came from the visitor center. I was registering the car of uh, my, my packing body. So everything is taken care of. Now but we decided to, this is the shelter that you, the first thing you see when you're going to start the trail towards the camping sites in there in the woods. And we decided to cook our first meal here. Because by the time that we get there, it's going to be perhaps 8 p.m. and by the time we are ready to start cooking it'll be like 9 or 10 maybe and I'm very hungry so we decided to do this here what I got here is this is my um, Optimus Terralite the frying pan for the, from the Optimus Terralite HE 7.5 cook set I don't know what that 7.5 means but you know it is there so what I got here is salmon uh, raw fish I marinated it with some spices, olive oil, lemon, and some other things that my wife taught me to do. And, and we're putting it here on the grill to see if, if not to see how fast this is going to cook, just to cook it. This is one less thing that we have to worry about when we go get to the campsite. I don't know, this is going to take us here perhaps one more hour. Uh, we will eat, we will live behind in a car, you know, clean dishes and everything. This, this is going to make our backpack a little bit lighter, at least mine. Uh, my backpacking body is going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be eating some snacks, nothing that has to be cooked. Uh, that's what he's going to be doing. And so I'm going to catch you guys a little bit later, perhaps after we eat this, maybe during the road and the trail, okay? So, signing. Hey, we're walking around. Trying to find some debris to put in the campfire. Last night we tried to light up that campfire and it, we couldn't do it. We did it for we tried it for maybe one and a half hours. We did everything. We split of wood. We made some. Como se llama eso? Kindling. Yeah, kindling. And we tried to do a bunch of things and we ended up having to go to bed without a campfire. But today we're going to do some, try a, a different method and in theory we're going to be able to do this. So for now uh, I'm going to tell you just this. I'm going to show you a little bit of the surroundings. It's kind of dark down here for my sight, but I'm visually impaired. You guys are not. So as you can see, I love this place. This is, the, this is the second time I come to this place. Raven Rock State Park. Let me show you behind me. Alright. I'll catch you later with the campfire business. We'll see how that goes. Alright. Uh, see you guys later. Hey, I'm back. One of the aspects that I enjoy the most of, of backpacking is uh, cooking, processing water, and anything that has to do with processing anything to survive. Because it's, it's time consuming, it's very entertaining, and I enjoy it a lot. And, and as a blind person, it, it gives me something to do, you know. Some of the little things, the few things that I can do, I'd rather doing it. A lot of people volunteer to, to help me do things, but I always decline the offer 
if I can do it. So this is one of the things. Of course, I I need uh, some help to a certain degree. Like to get to this spot right here, I needed help from a friend, my my back packing buddy that is uh, keeping me company in this trip. And so he walked me all the way here and make sure that I'm going to be safe because it would be very unsafe for me to do this all by myself. But once I'm here, I can do this. This is the City Summit folding bucket. It's very good. I highly recommend it. I got it at REI. Uh, it, it's uh, kind of pricey. I paid like $25 plus tax for it. But it's been a blessing for me. And this is just a piece of rope that you can get at Walmart. What I do here in order to collect the water in a safe way, I just throw this in the water and bring it back, ho hopefully full of water, like I'm going to do. I'm going to do it again. I'm sorry. I got it tangled up with my pocket yeah. knife. I'm going to put this okay. behind me. And the second, my first and second attempt, I didn't reach the water. This time, I'm, tr I'm going to try to reach it. It's tangled up with some branches. But I made it. See? This is full of water. Almost completely. I would say like 80%. What I can do, I, I can cast once more. Um, hope to get more water. That's what I'm going to try to do. So let me get this, the rope loose. Like that. Okay, here it goes. Okay, now this time I'm going to bring more water. Ironically, I brought less water. <laughs> but, you know, it is like that. Sometimes I just keep trying until I'm satisfied with it. Maybe this will be enough water for me to bring and process. This is the, like the second time that we're going to be processing water today. So it's not like I need that much water. I already uh, filled maybe six bottles of waters or maybe five and I just wanted to fill a few more. I brought eight of them. I use my water containers are just disposable water bottles that I empty when I use it at home. I just collect them and then I use it for this. I highly recommend it and I'll be seeing you later on with more of the things that I do in this trip, okay? So, okay, now I'm in the process of putting the water from the pocket into the bladder of the Squeeze Sawyer. This is a Squeeze Sawyer mini filter. I highly recommend it. It's rated for 100,000 gallons of water so, and it weighs 1.3 ounces when you dry. After you have put some water in it, it weighs like around 1.7 ounces. So this is what I did. I took a, bo a bottle of water that I had never shrunk down, uh, squished down. I cut it, the upper part made a scoop, and what I do, I scoop the water out of here. And then put it into the, into the pouch. It's, uh, it's a time consuming process, but like I said, this is very entertaining. And uh, that's what I did. Once this bladder is full, then I, I attach the water filter like I'm supposed to. And then I turn it around and fill up my, my bottles of water. First one, for example. And, and, you know, when I bring my bottles of water, they are strong like that. What I do is blow them. Squeeze to reshape these areas here in the bottom and then blow them again a little more. And then after that, begins the process of putting the water, the clean water inside of it, like so. You see? I'm pretty sure you're not interested in seeing me filling up three or four of these bottles. Uh, because it would be a very long uh, video, but at least I just wanted to show you how I process this. 
So I guess uh, for right now I'm going to be signing out and I'll see you in a little bit, alright? I'm going to be making a review to the A-Lite brand Mayfly model uh, backpack and chair. And here it is. Let me show it to you. When I first saw this chair in the store, I thought it was a wonderful thing to, to bring for backpacking. But I never thought that it would be a 100 pound. The only thing that I don't like about this chair is that it, it, it weighs one pound, but I imagine it cannot be any lighter for what it is. I mean, it's, it's very, very comfortable, and it's got everything that a conventional chair would have to offer. Let me describe it for you. This chair is made out of a frame of, of uh, aluminum. I don't know what kind of aluminum is this because there are various kinds of aluminum, but it's, it's made out of aluminum and this is made out of uh, nylon. I imagine this is a rip stuff, very strong. It's reinforced in the four corners here and it has a little bit of mesh here and, it, and this corners, I don't know why is that. I can only imagine that if you leave this out there and it rains in it, then, then it'll rain the water out there or to bring a little bit of fresh air to the cedar. It has this, this scoop shape that helps you, uh, you know, sit down very comfortably. It's pretty tall in the, in, the, in the back, as you can see. And it's very close, when you sit on it, you, you get to be very close to the, cha to, I mean, to the floor, which is what I was looking for, which what I like uh, about it a lot. And the reason is because I wanted to see it very close to the backpacking stove to cook when I go backpacking. Let me show you how I look like when I sit on it. See? I can cross my legs, I can stretch them, or I can bounce, you know, rock myself uh, front, forward, forward and backward. Uh, there's a couple of things that I don't like about this chair, but in general I think it's pretty much an excellent backpacking chair. Let me describe it for you. Uh, see, it has colors in the corners that tells you where everything goes, and I know that because they, you know, my wife told me I cannot see the colors. I cannot tell colors. So for somebody that, that can see, it is very pretty self-explanatory where each corner goes. For me, it's a different story. Uh, I have managed to memorize, you know, everything. Let me describe you the the fabric of it. It has uh, this reinforced in the edges here. It's made out of the same material, rip stuff, probably nylon or polyester, very strong. And these corners here are very, very hefty, very heavy material, that material, uh, nylon. And it has uh, some kind of a foam cushion in this corner for providing you with maximum comfort when you're sitting. And this corners here and, and the legs there. I don't, I don't consider that that's absolutely necessary, but they have it there. That makes the chair a little bit heavy. I, if I would eliminate that, I would eliminate a couple of ounces, maybe, maybe some grams. But they have it there. They know what they're doing. This, I think this chair was very well engineered. I like it very much. And I'm going to talk about the, the frame now. You see, this frame here has. A main stab in here, made out of solid aluminum, with two round-shaped uh, corners here, where they have attachments for the legs and the and the part of the of the back. These little strings here, they they don't come. I made that, and I'm going to explain you why after I talk about this first. See, this part for the back has bungees in between, like the holes of a tent. And the same okay. thing for this What I was telling here. you about is one of the weak points that I find with this chair is that when you sit on it, you have to make sure that your motions is only going to be back and forth in it. Let me show you what I mean. If you're going to be in this chair, you're going to work here around here and do this your movements back and forward, never to the sides, because what that does moving to the side it's going to weaken these points here. I can feel that it moves a little bit towards the side, so never try to work with things or use any motions towards the side. 
because that's going to weaken these points here where it joins. So always forward and backward. So that's what I consider a weak point in this chair. But and overall, it's a very good chair. I paid like $63 for this chair on the sale. It was a little more expensive. I don't remember the exactly regular price, but it's not a cheap chair. So it's if you're gonna buy spend money on this, you gotta make sure that this is something you're gonna take good care of. I, I always good, take good care of my stuff. It doesn't matter regardless to whether it's cheap or it's very expensive. But, and the reason is uh, because it's an investment and I want for, for this to last for many, many, many years like I always do with all my stuff. So do I recommend this chair? I really do recommend this chair, but you have to keep in consideration the price. It's not a cheap chair. And the weight is one pound if you're willing to bring this extra one pound in your backpack uh, for getting this kind of comfort, go ahead and do it. I did it, I like it, I love it, two thumbs up for it. Uh, I highly recommend No, dale, di algo. Hey, how are you guys doing? If you can see, I don't know if uh, the camera person can point at the fire, uh, campfire. Finally, we got a campfire. Yesterday, we tried to build a campfire and we tried for, like I said earlier, I don't know how many hours. And what we were doing is everything wrong. The only thing we did right was to split the wood and collect the wood. Everything was wet and we tried everything and nothing worked. But tonight, we found a lot of uh, debris, a lot of pine cones and pine needles and all kinds of stuff, good wood, and look at that. We have a very good campfire. So there's nothing better than enjoying a cup of coffee with a friend in a campfire. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I liked it very much. And tomorrow we will show you a little bit of something else. All right, so I guess I'm signing out now. I'll see you guys later. Hey, how about good morning? This is Sunday morning. It's about 9.25 a.m. We already had breakfast. I had a shake of coconut and almond milk with uh, oatmeal. It was good. All I had to do was to mix cold water and that's it. So it was fast breakfast, very nutritious, very good. And a cup of uh, hot, my hot drink with, uh, I don't remember what, oh, okay, uh, pita bread and, and peanut butter. All right, uh, and in this instance, I, I wanted to show you this talk to you about this what I got here is my cotton socks in this occasion I don't usually bring cotton to any of my backpacking trips but I decided to bring it because it was not gonna be cold so I put this to dry I washed it yesterday in the river plus my t-shirt and, and my underwear my cut my my cotton my my socks are made out of cotton and they are still humid they were there uh, the rest of the afternoon, I would say from perhaps 3 o'clock in the afternoon, all the way to this morning, is this is still wet. Now, this is synthetic. This is made out of Dacron, Rayon, or something like that, maybe polyester. But this is completely dry. This morning when I picked it up with my friend at my clothesline, I picked it up, I noticed that this and my underwear, my underwear is made out of polyester. So everything was, I mean, those two pieces were dry, completely dry, as opposed to this that is cotton. And that's why cotton is highly recommended not to bring to the backpacking trips because of that. Cotton, uh, it takes, especially to the winter, uh, cotton has the uh, characteristics that it, it's, uh, it's very absorbing, it absorbs humidity a lot. And it doesn't get dry immediately, unless it's under the hot sun or in a drying machine. In this case, we are surrounded by so many trees, and and we don't have the the hot sun in any direction. We have uh, the illumination, but it, it, only in certain spots. But certainly, the clothesline was between two trees, and and there was no sunlight directly hitting them. So you know, uh, we, we depended on the material of the piece of uh, clothing and the air and hoping for the best. So just to give you a hint, you know, and showing you uh, a proof that that's why cotton is highly not recommended for backpacking. Oh, well, okay, so I'll see you in a little bit, in a little while, okay? I'll see you later. Hey, we just got out of our campsite. 
we packed up everything. We made sure everything was clean. Um, and we're heading back to the parking lot to then go home. But before we go home, we're going to do like uh, Syntax 77 always does. It says it's cheeseburger time. The only difference is that we don't eat, well, I don't eat meat. So for me, it's going to be a salmon sandwich. Um, I don't know for my backpacking body. But that's going to be for me. Uh, it's 10.57 when we took off. We took off about two minutes ago or one or so. Let's see how much time we make it from here to the parking lot. Last time I was here, we made like 45 minutes. And uh, that was uh, maybe stopping once or twice. My health condition at that time was, was not so good. This time it's a lot better. I didn't have to take my high blood pressure pill not even once. I feel that good. The campfire last night was a total success. It was great. We had to uh, quench it down with water because at the time that we went back to sleep, we didn't we didn't have the fire quite done. You know, yeah, it was going to last perhaps one or two more hours. It was that good. It was hardwood. We tried to split the wood, uh, but it, we took a, a a long piece of wood. Must have been like maybe ten feet, more ten feet, left. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And we cut it down to pieces of perhaps three feet or two feet and a half or so. Okay. Uh, we got mud on the right and got trees on the left. I mean, okay. uh, trees on the left and mud on the right. Okay. So we gotta stay in the house. Okay, we gotta watch out for the rattlesnakes. They are around. At this time of the year, they still are, are, are around. Yesterday, we saw one. I don't know if that was a rattlesnake. It was a small one. It was close to the bathrooms. But we didn't bother it, it didn't bother us, so it was okay. We just pointed at it and I, my backpacking buddy pointed at it and we kept going. We didn't have any problems with it. Uh, another thing we did yesterday was to, to wash my clothes in the river. I put it in, in the tip of my cane and then I rinsed it in the, in the river. We put a clothesline between two trees. We put it to dry next morning, like I explained earlier. Everything, well, the two, three pieces, two of them were dry. The ones that were made out of synthetics. My socks were made out of... Uh, you have some roots coming up. Cotton. Roots, watch out. Oh, roots, okay. See, that's the duty of the person that is guiding me, tell me what's going on, whether we're going up or going down. This guy's done a marvelous job, great. So far has been my the best uh, guide that I've had. Because uh, I have some guides that they take way too much care. They're too exaggeratedly careful to the point that slows us down. I never say anything. You know how it is because I'm always thankful for any help. And others are somewhat careless. But this guy is perfect. Uh, he knows that I'm attached. I'm holding his backpack in the back. And whenever he feels that he has to describe me, the uh, the aspect of geographical aspect of the path is tell me. Other than that, we just talk and walk. And once in a while, he asks me, "Are you okay?" Things like that. We have a good path. We're not a good speed. We're not slow. We're not too fast. Just right. Uh, something that helps me a lot is my backpack. It's, uh, it was 23 pounds when I came in. Friday night, it's probably around 20 pounds now. You know, I ate all the food. Uh, the only thing I had left over was a couple of oat bars. And that's it. Everything else I ate it. I don't know about him, but I guess he has one MRE left. He didn't eat his first MRE, but everything else was, was consumed. We made sure we put all the trash in the trash can and make sure that Everything stays clean here. Everything here is beautiful. I'm going to show you a little bit. That's the backpack of my accompaniment company today. My backpacking buddy. Uh, I guess we accomplished what we wanted, which was to take some time off to be together and talk and share 
some time of camaraderie. We shared some experiences, uh, ideas, advices. We heard one another. It was good. It was great. Nice. Yes, we'll do it again. One thing I like about this guy is he likes extreme sports. Adventure. I like that too. All right. I guess uh, you can see around. It's beautiful out here. So I'm going to sign out now. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? You guys take care, like I always say. Take, take care, and I'll see you later.